Okay, folks, this will be something I really hate. I hate this sort of shit. It's bloody rich people's crap. We'll soon find out what we can do to make this look like a piece of shit in dishonour of the rich. So let's just... It's going to be a large original. We'll see if we can make it look interesting. But it's something I hate. It's just a... It's basically a cultural thing that rich people are drawn to naturally. I'm going to leave that in the middle. It's something that you see a lot... You hear a lot about to do with the rich. <laughs> It's a status symbol. We've got here an advertisement for a status symbol. And this status symbol is shit. I know a lot of fake ones get made. Well, who could blame them? <laughs> uh, but anyway, I'm um, going to remove some of the background on this. Not that it really matters in the end. All right, what do we got? What is this uh, advert for a status symbol? We all know the name. Here it is. It is... Rolex! Oyster Perpetual Date Just 41. Whatever. Stupid fuck. It's Rolex. Of course it's fucking Rolex. Uh, we're going to make a fuck up of Rolex now. So we're going to make this look really shit. Because it is shit, folks. It is fucking shit. You know, rich people's status symbol. Bullshit. See how that looks as as far as Rolexes go. But you know, we all know Rolex. You know, you hear about people making fake Rolexes and selling them in the street. Uh, I mean, it's such a well copied design by these fraudsters. But you know, but even though that looks interesting, actually, Rolex. But you know, it's it's basically. It's like a, it's like a four, it's like a Ferrari, it's like a, a Porsche is to cars, you know, it's like that, folks. And it's basically a shit, whatever, it's expensive. Uh, I think a lot of people, when they, when they retire, often get a golden handshake and a Rolex. I mean, how fucking cliche is that? We're going to lighten this. So how fucking cliche is that, getting a, a golden handshake? Uh, with a Rolex uh, as a way of saying well supposedly saying thank you but basically what a shame it's <laughs> that people often end up having to retire earlier than they wanted to and basically my dad was forced into early retirement by the company he worked for and basically yeah he wasn't happy with that. I don't think even a Rolex could could have made him happy. Um, I don't think he received the Rolex. And I think I accidentally pressed the gloss button on this fucking dumb machine. Uh, anyway, this is an interesting image of Rolex once again. It looks more... We added more background removal to this. Uh, trying to think what sort of... How we can make this look good. But we're going to get rid of this this... Stupid, I see, I just bumped these buttons. The company, Konica Minolta, probably have assholes with Rolexes too. After all, the people that run Konica Minolta are a bunch of dickheads uh, who just love money, who just care about money. So you can imagine those bitches would love Rolexes. <laughs> They're fucking idiots. You can just imagine, you know, that they, they would love a Rolex and they probably have some of these rich bitches at Konica Minolta. Like, I don't know if Shai Amana, the Japanese guy, would be a typical Rolex fan, but I know a lot of rich people, like American people, uh, love Rolex. I'm actually thinking this is, makes a really good uh, piece here. It's not an easy thing we're, we're photocopying as a an artwork. Uh, I'm going to try it again. I'm going to try another movement piece. Try and do it again. But basically Rolex is just bullshit. It's just full of shit, folks. Uh, it's all about money. It's all about greed. It's, a, it's culture is steeped in arseholery. Uh, I 
let's see how we go. And the people involved in in Rollworks are assholes too. So you got to believe. You can't believe that these rich people have anything good to do, or or a good influence in this world. I'm actually wondering if we're doing too many of these or what. Maybe I could do one of me screwing up the Rolex thing. Maybe that's what I should do: is to show my hatred towards this shit, so we can just screw it up while we're photocopying it. So we'll just screw it up while we're photocopying it. A bit of just I don't normally destroy things, but this is something that I don't like, and I figured it was okay to destroy it. Uh, it's not something I normally do. But let's see if we've actually made it into a more creative piece. It's You can't really see the Rolex, but you can at least see something interesting. So now this is going to go to the recycle pile. It's trash. It was always going to go to the recycle pile anyway. So we've got now a screwed up version of the Rolex ad. So hopefully this is a good piece for those people who love art. I don't normally destroy things, folks. It's not in my fucking way. I'm actually going to leave it on that because it's such a heavy black image. But we're going to just... Um, we're going to enlarge it a little bit. We're going to have to blow it up a bit across... We're going to make it upside down like that and we're going to cut this off. So we're just going to go kill that and we're just going to go for the horizontal. We're going to make it... 116 and for the vertical we're just going to call it 104 for the vertical and we're just going to set this up but you know I just hate this rich people's bullshit folks I just had to do something a little bit different something to show my absolute disdain for this culture of the rich I do, I hate them, God. Now, why am I saying God? Why? Is God got something to do with this, I wonder? Does he make rich people uh, become assholes? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Whatever it is, folks. I'm just sick of these rich people and their fucking culture and their, f and their fucking forcing their fucking product down our throats like some people force religion down your throat. Well, this is like religion. If you want to know what this is, the love of money is a religion. It is a fucking religion, folks. Like it or not, it's religion. So if you don't like religion, don't love money. Don't subscribe to the rich people's religion of loving money. Otherwise, you can be considered a religious person without wanting to be called a religious person. You may not. People may not use the word religion like I do with the love of money, but to me it is a religion. It is a fucking horrid religion. If any there was a religion that I hated, this is it. This is it, folks. I hate this religion of loving money. I really do. I'm wondering if we can do something more interesting with this to make it look better. Uh, maybe we could add some blue. We're going to make it a blue hue. And we're going to take use brightness as our and, uh, to replace that. But basically, the love of money is like a form of uh, some kind of religion. It is a religion, folks. We're going to take out most of the black. It is a religion, folks. Um, but it doesn't do any good. It doesn't help mankind to love money. It destroys mankind. It destroys the planet. It destroys the animals and the trees and everything else that we need to survive and we need to live a happy existence. We need all these good things like trees and, and all that just to survive. It's not just about... Um, it's not just about enjoying, having something to enjoy. We need trees to survive. We need... Oh, this is not looking good. We need all these. We need plen plenty. We need these things to live, folks. It's not just beautiful trees to look at. It's trees so that we can 
so that we can breathe and so that we can thrive as a human race. We, we can't just destroy things just because we want to be petty and make as much fucking money as we can before we die. Because we are going to die as a human race if we continue this bullshit of loving money. Uh, it will destroy us, folks. It'll destroy the human race if we don't pull our heads in and start trying to work together as a world. A world which where everyone loves each other. Although we can't have a perfect world like that, I must admit. We can't be perfect. There is no such thing as perfection. And now this looks really good. Now I can see the faces even. So that looks good. So basically we... Oh, I think it's because we've got both brightness and and density, copy density working together, make a brighter image. Oh, okay. And we're also using text photo printed instead of copied paper, but we weren't we're getting similar whatever. But basically we need to work together as a human race and we gotta we gotta treat each other equally as much as we can. It's not easy. And the rich people are the ones that have got the power. They've got the say. They can, they can make a difference. They can really be good for our environment, for our human race, for our humanity. If only they just didn't... If they could just pull their fingers out of their assholes and stop worshipping money as, a, as some kind of deity, some evil, horrible deity that just doesn't care about anything else but itself. It's just so disgusting that that the world is run by these people in these big corporations who have the last say in everything and yet they don't make a world a better place. They just make it into a, a stinking, disgusting cesspool. And I've got no respect for Rolex. This is what I think of your fucking product, bitches. You know, and you've just seen me screw up a Rolex ad. Well, there you go. You can see what I think of the product and the advertising. So this is not the greatest um, image, but it's it's an interesting image. You can still make out images of the Rolex, and there's a person's face there. So yeah, that's interesting how we've done something a little bit more different. As I said, I don't normally destroy things. Uh, Destroying isn't something I normally like to do, but I thought I'd... Oh, I could even see the word Rolex. Hey, that's really cool. So we did something a little bit different, a little bit off the track, but you've got to do different things to keep to keep ahead of things, you know, to do things differently to make more interesting instead of blah, blah, boring. But anyway, enough about this Rolex rant. I think now we can call this demo... Quits.